What's up, insiders? You are watching the Newsflash, the best way for you to stay up to date with everything the product and policy teams want you to know on a weekly basis. And the best way for you to leave feedback as well is to drop a couple of comments underneath this video because we read every single one of them. Now let's get into those updates. Let's talk through a launch, and this one is specific to video descriptions. As you may have been noticing, we've been adding new sections to video descriptions, things like auto chapters or featured games, things that we've discussed on this channel. Well, the news is that we're changing how the video description appears if there are additional sections that we think can be added to your video description. Now, how is this gonna look? Well, the text is still gonna appear at the top of the panel with the display text, and this is the change, appearing as a preview by default with a read more link at the bottom. Now, clicking on that read more link is going to expand the description and produce the entire text. You're going to start seeing this change rolling out on Android as well as iOS starting this week. Any feedback, you know where to leave it. Next up, let's discuss the only experiment we're going to walk you through this week, and that is around the channel page layout on mobile. Over the next couple of weeks, we're going to be experimenting with various layout and visual element changes on the channel page on mobile. And the goal here is to better showcase creator information while improving usability on mobile. We're going to be experimenting with various layouts, but there are two things to note. The first is that these changes aren't going to be permanent. And the second is not all viewers will see these different layouts. So to make sure we're being as transparent as possible, here are two examples of the types of layouts that viewers may see. From the creators of YouTube to YouTube's creators, it's been a pleasure and we'll see you next week.